Welcome to In the Field. I'm Brad Hare with the University of Georgia College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. I'm here today with Dr. John Beasley, peanut agronomist with the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension. Hey, Dr. Beasley. Hey, how you doing, Brad? Thanks for joining me again. Always get, glad to be with you. Hey, I appreciate it. Peanut harvest is in full swing in Georgia right now, and Georgia producers produce about half of the U.S. peanut crop each year in the United States. Been a challenging year, though, Dr. Beasley. Oh, it has been a very challenging year. We've seen just about everything that can be thrown at a producer and the conditions that he's had to try to grow this crop under. Started out very dry and very hot very quickly, and that heat persisted season long. A lot of very high temperatures. It had a negative impact on what we were trying to do. A lot of pest problems. Weeds, as always, but insects and diseases, uh, white mold hit us hard and fast and took out a lot of the plants. And then we had just about every insect you can imagine this year, from the foliage feeders like cutworms and beet army worms, fall army worms, tobacco bug worms, and then spider mites right here at harvest who come in and just literally suck the juices out of those plants just prior to harvest. Certainly been a challenging year, but right now we're about halfway through harvest getting there. Now the growers are getting a chance to take a look at the crop. What we're going to have in Georgia this year as far as peanuts? Well, we've seen everything from the very best to uh, zero and I have walked fields that will have zero yield and some in that 100, 200, 300 pound yield potential. In those cases uh, the poundage is there won't justify the harvest cost and you just have to walk away from those and so there will be a higher than normal abandonment of acreage. But on the flip side we've seen some really outstanding yields. We've had growers in that 6,000 plus pound, we've heard reports about 7,000 pound yield. So. Those fields that could be irrigated have done quite well. And there's an occasional dry land field that did not do, uh, did pretty good. But for the most part, we've seen about as wide a swing in yield potential from zero to 7,000 that we've seen in any one year. USDA figures that Georgia may harvest about 475,000 acres this year. They're guessing the yield, average yield at this point, may be 3,400 pounds, 3,450. What do you think about that? Uh, I'll have said all along I thought those figures were a little high but then again I get called out to look at the bad field so okay. my, my mind might be a little skewed on that uh, but when you consider the fact that they don't account for the abandoned acreage in their average yield assessment it's only off the harvested acreage we very likely could hit that 3400 plus pound yield average again uh, we've been on a run here lately we've had some really outstanding average yields across the last few years what do you attribute some of that to uh, definitely the new cultivars uh, it's just amazed all of us how good these cultivars have uh, been for us. Yield potential like we've never seen before. And so there's four, five, six cultivars out there from UGA, USDA, University of Florida that have performed phenomenally in some very adverse conditions. Peanut harvest in Georgia. Maybe a year for the have and have nots, but it will be a harvest I know growers would be happy to get in the wagons and get sold, Dr. Beasley. Absolutely. We want to finish this one up. That's right. I appreciate you joining me and telling me about yes, it. Yes, sir. Until next time, take care, give thanks, and good luck.